Hey, Storm Shooters, meteorologist Jason Myers here. Let's talk winter outlook 2014 and 15. Last week, I let you know what the Climate Prediction Center had to say. And a little bit before that, and since then, a few other entities have released their thoughts on the upcoming winter months. So let's do a comparison and contrast. So who are we dealing with? Well, like I said, last week we looked at the Climate Prediction Center. We're looking at five different entities here. The Climate Prediction Center released theirs. We also have AccuWeather and what they thought. The Farmer's Almanac, they were the first to release what they thought about the winter, and it was uh, very, very early. Uh, the Weather Channel also released theirs, going non-committal, just showing where they thought the temperatures would be, nothing about any precipitation. And the Weather Center blog also released what they had to think about uh, the upcoming winter months. So let's really pick apart these forecasts. Let's start on the East Coast and go to the West Coast, see where things are the same, see where things are different, and maybe, just maybe we can get a little bit better idea of what we can expect during the months of December, January, and February. Starting in the Northeast, this is where just about everybody agrees. Four out of five of these forecasts say it's going to be cold and snowy. The National Weather Service says warmer and wet in a few areas, so they are really the outlier there. The Southeast, Everybody agrees here. Cool and wet, and that is very typical of El Nino winters, even when we're looking at a weak to moderate one, like what is expected over these next few months. For the Midwest, this is where it gets a little hairy. Four out of five say it'll be cooler with near normal snow, but the National Weather Service is holding with average temperatures and drier conditions. So right there, the National Weather Service going out on a limb outside of what everybody else is saying. The Northern Plains, the Farmer's Almanac says cold and snowy, and they're the only ones who say so. The National Weather Service, the Weather Channel, both go with above average temperatures, while AccuWeather and the Weather Center blog go with average conditions. So it looks like we have a little bit of disparity there with about half and half saying one thing or another. The Southern Plains, everybody agrees. Again, El Nino, a big factor here, cool and wet. Moving into the southwest, the Weather Channel is saying warm, AccuWeather is saying wet, National Weather Service is saying both, but the Farmer's Almanac, cool and average, and the Weather Center blog is going warm and dry, so a big disparity there, but three out of five really are going with uh, wet winter, which uh, would be a welcome uh, thing since it has been so dry and been dealing with a lot of drought in that part of the country. To the northwest, Four out of five are saying the Northwest will be warm and dry. The Farmer's Almanac, the doom and gloom, everybody is going to freeze this winter, is going with chilly and normal precipitation. So there you have it. We've looked at five different winter weather outlooks. So a few takeaways from this. The South is more than likely going to be cool and wet, courtesy of this El Nino that's setting up shop over the next few months. The Pacific Northwest is going to be just the opposite, warm and dry, which doesn't do any good for the drought conditions that have set up there. The Northeast, meanwhile, could be a little on the active side with some cool conditions, possibly a few big storms that drop a decent amount of snow. As for the middle of the country, I'm talking the Central Plains and the Midwest, it's still up in the air. Nobody really agrees on what's going to happen during those three months. So keep Storm Shield close by. You can be the first to know about winter weather advisories, winter storm watches, winter storm warnings, blizzard warnings, as soon as they're issued and for your exact location. That way you can be better prepared for any winter weather that heads your way these next few months. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. I will see you next time.